Hi everyone, it's Ella, your school captain. Welcome to our first virtual assembly, lockdown 7.0. Wait, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, 7.0. Welcome to our assembly. Obviously we can't meet in the hall, duh, lockdown. But you guys can sit on the couch with some popcorn and enjoy the updates from Cozzy. I hope Miss Granger doesn't babble on too much. You guys know what I'm talking about. You can watch our videos at any time each week that suits you and your family. Riley and I will lead these assemblies just like we do at school. Your teachers have been really impressed with the work you guys are all doing and we're keen to celebrate all of your excess, excess, success sorry, by giving out the Student of the Week awards. They will be read out here and then they will be delivered to those hardworking learners who are read out. We will also be reading out the people who have celebrated birthdays during lockdown, just like we would do at school. And Miss Granger and Mr. Mary will keep us informed with what is happening at school. At the end of assembly, the vice captains will share their photo book, which includes snapshots and videos of the learning that you've all been submitting on Google Classroom. Now let's start our assembly. Have fun, everybody. Hi, I'm Riley, a school captain at Cosby. Today, I'll be leading you in the, in the acknowledgement of country. We acknowledge the Gunai Kurnai people as the tra traditional custodians of the land upon which we meet. We pay our respects to the elders of the past, present and future and acknowledge their spiritual connection to country. Hi again. As you all know, last week at school we celebrated Do It For Dolly Day. On this day, I had the awesome opportunity of visiting nearly all of your classrooms to talk to you about kindness and how important it is to stand up to bullies. We raised over $700. Great job, everybody. All right, and I'm pretty sure we had a netball game. Who won that again? The kids did. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. It was my hope that Do It For Dolly Day at Cozzy would be a day that stays with us all and keeps us to become the people we want to be. Oh, I'm not gonna forget that win. If we try our best to be brave and start to speak, even if our voice is shaking, I think that the next time we speak, our voice will shake a little less and even less the next time we stand up for the people around us. That is why I love the quote, speak even if your voice shakes. As a way to make sure that Do It For Dolly Day stays with us, I would like to invite you to participate blah, 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 in the kindness, cozy, no, cozy kindness logo design competition. It's a bit of a tongue twister. This week, I would like you to think of a design that incorporates our school in kindness. I'm sure they will look magnifico. The winner of this competition will receive an amazing prize and it will be shared in our newsletter and on the school's social media. In, in your Google Classroom, you will be able to submit a photo of your work. I really cannot wait to see what you come up with. Have a cracking weekend, everybody. Bye. Congratulations to these to those people who have celebrated their, their, their birthdays this week. Unfortunately, we're not at school to announce these birthdays, so I thought I would acknowledge you all now. Happy birthday to Molly, who had her 12th birthday on Sunday. Sophie, Hannah and Michaela all ce celebrated their 12th birthdays on Wednesday. And Jake is celebrating his 8th birthday today. I really hope that, you've all, that you have all been able to do something exceptional with your family for your special, for a special, for your special day. Thanks to Ella and Riley for creating these videos. It was great to hear from you both, although I'm not really sure what Ella meant when she suggested that I ramble on. I wonder if Mr Tingo's class know what she meant. They've also given me that feedback before at assembly. Hmm. I am excited by the challenge that Ella's put out to you all. On Monday, when you go into your Google Classroom, you'll find a place where you can submit your designs. I'm currently working on one as well, and I'll share that with you next week. Earlier, Alice said that our vice captains will share the showcase with you at the end of this video. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to create this, but I'll work hard to make sure that we have that ready for you for next week. I've been really impressed with the work that you've been doing, and I'm keen to share this with everyone. Keep it up going into next week. Some of you might already be watching GEM TV from the Resilience Project. If you're not already tuning in, make sure you do, it's really worthwhile. I was watching it on Tuesday and Marty gave some really great suggestions for helping us to stay positive. 
One of his strategies was to get two pieces of paper. On one piece of paper, you write down all the positive things that people have done for you. I did it and doing that made me reflect on all those important people I have in my life, including all of you. It made me feel connected to, to you and, and those other people in my life, even though I wasn't with you all. On the other piece of paper, you write down all the positive things you do for others. Doing this also made me feel really positive because Allah has pointed out to us already, being kind to other people not only makes them feel great, it also makes us feel great. Just before I pass you on to your teachers for the Student of the Week Awards, I want to tell you about something that will be happening on Friday, whether we are on site or working remotely. We're gonna have a crazy hair day. I cannot wait to see you all with your crazy hair. We'll also have a special quiz for you to do. A couple of the ES and the teachers were saying how cute they were when they were in prep. And we all started wondering whether you would be able to recognize them when they were little compared to what they look like now. So this will also be in your Google Classroom next week. And just a warning, some of the photos are really cute. Enjoy the weekend and stay positive and most of all, be kind to your family. Bye. Our award in 5-6-S this week goes to somebody who has shown initiative and responsibility. This person has worked really hard on all her learning tasks but has also shown initiative by suggesting ways to engage her classmates in our Google Meets. So congratulations to Anna Shanklin. Woohoo! Hi everyone. Last time we were at school, last Friday, we had Do It For Dolly Day. And Ella did a fantastic job at spreading the message about be kind to people. And I had someone in my class last Friday that really showed great kindness towards another person. Someone younger in the school had lost their dollar and they weren't able to go and buy their donut. But Bailey Fulham, who had a dollar and was on his way over to buy the donut, saw this little kid who was upset and said, here, I've already got a pie, so I don't really need a donut, have my dollar. And I think that was a fantastic way of showing kindness and I'd like to recognize that today by giving Bailey my pupil of the week. Next week, I'll give an award to do with remote learning and my class have been doing an awesome job at that. In fact, we had 22 people on Google Meet this morning, which was fantastic. So it's going to be a tough choice. Have a great week, everyone. My award this week goes to Taylor. Congratulations, Taylor. You've shown great responsibility for your learning. Everything you do, you've gone above and beyond and you've really challenged yourself. Um, and you do it all with a smile on your face. Well done, Taylor. Keep it up. Hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your Friday. So anyway, the student of the week for grade 4M is somebody who has been ready to help Miss Sam sort some computer problems out so that I could get all the grid faces up on my Google Meets. Plus, they have done every single lesson every day. This is well deserved and that's to Lucas Lang. Well done. Okay, this week's Responsibility Award goes to Ruby Hudson. She's done such a fantastic job transitioning to online learning. She's doing all her tasks at a great standard and she's participating in all our Google Meets and she's been such a help uh, while working online. Well done, Ruby. Hi everyone. This week's award could have gone to many of you. I've been super proud of all the work you have produced online and I can't believe how far we have come from probably 16 months ago when remote learning began. Uh, your ability to go in and out of Google Meets and your computer skills have improved so much over this time and you should all be really proud of yourselves. This week I'm giving two awards for responsibility. Liam and Maddie, you have gone above and beyond in your work this week that you have produced and I want to congratulate you both. Keep up the great work and I'll see you all next week. Big shout out to everyone, but especially the kids in Prep 1 Tingay. My student of the week this week is Ava. Ava has tried very hard to get herself motivated and to keep herself on task and is submitting nearly every piece of equipment. She's also been practicing being a teacher at school, so well done Miss B. 
And also, I'd like to say, go the Mighty Bulldogs this weekend against that hapless rabble that just scraped into the eight that called themselves Essendon. So go the Bulldogs, and we'll see you all next week. Hi, everyone. In Prep 1D this week, I have two readiness awards. The first award goes to Ruben, and this is for consistently doing all his learning tasks at home during the remote period and putting in his best effort. Well done, Ruben. The second award goes to Spencer, and this is also for completing all his learning tasks during remote learning and taking on feedback. So well done to Spencer. In Prep 1W this week, we have a readiness award for Michaela. Michaela has worked hard in all our learning activities online. She has put in a strong work ethic to be a successful learner this week. Well done, Michaela. Hi everyone, I hope you've had a fun Friday. I've got two awards for Prep 1R today. They're both readiness awards. The first one goes to Jadid for consistently doing great work. And the other one goes to Charlotte for taking on feedback. Well done everyone, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye. The award this week in 23B is for readiness and it goes to Courtney Coleman. Courtney has demonstrated readiness by being a remote learning superstar. She comes to all the meetings and has a go at every assigned task. Well done, Courtney. Hi, Miss Robinson here. I would like to thank all of my students for how well they did this week online. But two students that really stood out and completed every single learning task to the best of their ability were Jax Pilkington and Madison Raddick. Congratulations, guys. You are superstars.